Try to imagine this, robots roaming the aisles of a grocery store. Might sound like science fiction, but you can expect to see self-scanning robots, self-floor scrubbers, and other technological innovations at San Antonio Walmarts in the near future. This is all part of an investment meant to save customers time and money. Sarah Acosta shows us some of these automated machines that are already in a New Braunfels Walmart, and she also talks with a local professor about what this means for the future of the retail industry. Meet Bossa Nova. He's at the Walmart in New Braunfels. He roams the aisles of Walmart, making sure shelves are fully stocked. He can even read if people are in the aisle, where he will politely stop scanning so he doesn't get in their way. Bossa Nova is part of the $265 million investment Walmart is putting into new technologies in its Texas stores. The goal? To provide quicker and better customer service. About three times a day for about three hour periods, Bossa Nova goes down every aisle, scanning items, telling associates what needs to be restocked. Before, something that may have been stocked tomorrow or later in the day now can be within minutes of it coming in. We know that, hey, this is out on the shelf. Someone's going and bringing it out. The New Braunfels Walmart is considered a technology store, trial running the latest innovations. But you'll see more Bossa Novas in area San Antonio Walmart stores, along with other innovations like self scrubbing machines or self checkouts and Walmart online pickup towers. But what does this mean for future jobs? I mean, there has to be a shift. 200 years ago, we put a paddle wheel in a river and we started to have machinery rather than human horsepower. Director of the MBA program of the University of Incarnate Word says machines taking place of human workers is something we've been seeing for centuries. He says this is just another migration shift in the retail industry to seeing more technology in stores to keep up with consumer demand. This is a migration and I don't know, it feels like it's going to be a pretty quick migration though. It's not going to be a hundred year period. We're going to have to be, we may be in five or six years. The store manager at the New Braunfels Walmart says the machines will not be replacing store associates. It's not necessarily replacing anything. We're still manually taking this stuff down, but it's definitely about efficiency and helping customer service. Robert says whether we see less jobs in the retail industry in the future or not, the human touch will always be necessary. There's going to be a need for some compassion and somebody that can make a decision and that doesn't work off an algorithm. That's going to have to keep going on. Sarah Costa joins us live now tonight. So, Sarah, you went to New Braunfels Walmart. So, when can we see Bossa Nova? That's the name, right? Bossa Nova. When can we see Bossa Novas in San Antonio? Bossa Novas are actually pretty cute, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, You've already seen some of those large orange um, online pickup towers. You can't miss them. They're yes. at the as soon as you walk into the front of the stores. Those are already in a lot of the area, San Antonio, Walmart's, as well as those self scrubbing machines that clean the floors automatically. It looks like someone's actually driving them, but no giant one's there. Giant Roomba. Yeah, basically, yeah, giant Roombas. <laughs> But the Bossa Novas, um, you'll actually start seeing those rolling down the aisles throughout San, Inst San Antonio stores throughout this year. Okay, are they called Boss for short? Stay tuned, I guess. Well, actually, it was really funny. Every store is encouraged to name their robot, and this <laughs> one was named Texas Walker uh, Ranger. Oh, Tex all right, okay. Texas Walker uh, <laughs> Roamer, I guess. Okay, thanks, All right, Sarah. I'm going to roam off. <laughs>